The solutions for two linear equations can be listed in tables and graphed on a coordinate grid. For example, the ice skating rink at the park has two shops where ice skates can be rented. Shop A charges an upfront fee of $12 and $2 for every hour that the ice skates are rented. The cost C of renting skates from shop A for T hours is represented by the equation C equals 12 plus 2T. For shop A, renting skates for zero hours costs $12. For one hour, the cost is $14. For two hours, the cost is $16. And for three hours, the cost is $18. Shop B charges an upfront fee of $8 and $4 for every hour that the skates are rented. The cost C of renting skates from shop B for T hours is represented by the equation C equals 8 plus 4T. For shop B, renting skates for zero hours cost $8. For one hour, the cost is $12. For two hours, the cost is $16, and for three hours, the cost is $20. The common solution for two linear equations is the solution that makes both equations true. In the previous example, two linear equations represent the cost of renting ice skates at two different rental shops. A line was graphed for each equation to represent the cost of renting skates. The point on the graph where the two lines cross, or intersect, represents the rental time of 2 hours and a cost of $16. So, at both shops, it costs $16 to rent skates for 2 hours. This is the common solution for the two skate rental equations. Notice that the ordered pair 2, 16 makes both equations true. This is the common solution for the two linear equations. Note, before two hours, it is cheaper to rent skates from shop B. After two hours, it is cheaper to rent skates from shop A. For exactly two hours, it costs the same amount to rent skates at both rental shops.